everybody. My name is Maya Pearson, and I am the owner of Sweet Sorrel. Um, and today we are going to be making cards. Um, typically, I do my cards um, that we sell through digital art, um, and then it's printed. But then I also like I print them personally, and then score them, cut them, and all of that. Uh, package them as well. Um, and so this is a little different than the normal card making that I do, um, but I'm really excited um, to be able to do this with you all. So welcome. And I'll go ahead and introduce myself as well. My name is Brittany. Um, I am the founder of Crafter New, and I, uh, the, I'm going to go ahead and share exactly how we, it all started. So um, it all actually started in the comfort of um, my home. And um, when it came to speaking of things or things to do when it came to me and my mental wellness, um, I always led myself to crafts. So um, I went to do crafts and um, another part of my wellness was having friends around and bringing those two combos together. You know, that's when we had Craft Anew, you know, a born. And from there, um, there's been a lot of people that have their certain expertise um, and skills that they share. Um, like Maya, she has her expertise in cards and uh, Araceli has her expertise in journaling. Um, so my, I have, you know, my friends that um, then come in to do their crafts and expertise and uh, share that with uh, groups of people as well. So this has been going on for about, um, I want to say about five, six years now. Um, if I'm accurate, <laughs> I know it's been a while. So, um, I know I actually, I'm, I, I'm going to try to get myself back on video here. I had to move back into my room because I have kids in the background and, <laughs> uh, they were making noise. Oh, here I am. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, so yeah, so I'm right now in Dallas, Texas, but, um, I'm from, uh, Madison, Wisconsin. So, uh, when it started, it started in Madison, Wisconsin. So um, it, it um, then from there now, hopefully we'll be able to expand it and uh, bring it to Dallas, Texas. So um, I'm hoping you guys enjoy it and experience, have a good experience um, that, you know, we normally have every time we have these type of crafty noons, it's, it's a, a definitely a good thing for the soul. And it's actually it's good. It's on a Sunday too. So, <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else want to introduce themselves? If not, I'll give like a one minute and see if anyone wants to, or a couple seconds to see if anybody wants to jump in. Hi. I would like to say hi to Araceli and everybody. Thank you for your support. My daughter loves crafts and we want to make them home with her too. We want to enjoy you. Uh, thank you so much. We really appreciate to learn a lot of things from the library. Right, <laughs> She likes art and crafts, so we are ready. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Thank you for joining. Okay, so I decided um, to start off with um, like cards that are a little um, not so difficult. At first, I wanted to do um, some pretty elaborate card making, but then I realized that 
we have a lot of different, we're going to have a lot of different people here um, with different levels and skills of crafting. Um, so I wanted to try to do something a little more simple. Um, you all have a packet um, if you received one. If not, then um, what we should have is a pair of scissors, permanent marker, a fat one or a thin one, or one that is um, doubled like that. Um, and then you should have some glue. Um, I have like the precision, precision tip um, craft glue. Um, I have uh, brought some colored pencils with me. Um, and then I found some like stencils. <laughs> I couldn't find stickers. Um, and then there should be some stickers in um, the packs that we gave and then also some different paper here. Um, so I might be choosing the paper myself for me, but um, don't um, think that you have to have the same exact color paper that I'm using. Um, so definitely use whatever colors you feel that you want to do. Um, and you don't necessarily have to do it exactly or place, you know, stickers exactly or anything like that or tape. Um, so feel free to like freestyle it. Um, basically, it's just the basics here that we're going to be working on. Um, so let's begin. So first, what we want to choose is a base color. Um, I have double sided paper just because I have so much paper. <laughs> So I'm going to try to use some of my old cardstock to um, do it. So pick a color that you want because what's going to happen is that we're going to take our white paper and we're going to half this paper to then stick into um, the inside of uh, the color paper that you choose um, because we're going to write on this one. Um, if you decide that you don't want the white paper and you want to write on color a different color, go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, so first what I'm going to do is take the paper and we're going to fold it in half. And I have to remember that you guys can see this. So I like the red side better than the pink side. And we wanna make sure that the edges line up. And then we're going to make sure that we score it down. Um, if you have your scissors, you can use the blunt end of the scissors as a score and score across. But just don't press too hard because it might um, tear the paper. Okay, so you have it here. And bear with me if I'm going too fast, let me know. I've never did card making on the video, so I'm not exactly sure how fast I'm going. So just let us know if we're going too fast. Okay. So the first thing I want to do with this is that I want to um, create kind of like a cool um, opening of the card. So it'll open this way. Um, so say like I can make like, uh, like a half circle here and then cut that out. So then you can kind of see some of the pink in there. Or if you want to do like a swiggle like that, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, also, you could also make a... Um, like a, a circle in the middle that you'll cut out so that you know you can kind of see the card come through. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is make a circle. So I'm gonna take a one of my markers and I am going to draw a circle that I'm gonna cut out. Make sure that it's not too far off um, or too close to the edge if you want to try to concentrate um, the, the circle there. So the easiest way to cut this is obviously not folding it completely, but making a little slit and then cut. And then you can be able to go around. So. Typically what I do is just cut the inside first and then I just keep going in a circle and kind of like a spiral just so then I'm not cutting too much too fast and just so I can kind of like see 
like how my circle is looking. It would be nice to have like a, what are they called? The pro, is, is it a protractor? Or um, the things that you get in like fourth grade or fifth grade or something like that, or sixth grade, and you start doing deep geometry. <laughs> a compass? Yeah, a compass. <laughs> It's been so long. And it's okay if it's not perfect either. Um, try your best if you're making a circle. Mine came out a little like an oval, <laughs> but you know, it's fine. I like it. Okay. So the next thing, so this basically is going to be my window. So whatever I am going to put inside, maybe I'll put like happy Valentine's day, or um, if this is for just specifically, you know, just, a random card saying thank you you can put write it inside and so that they'll be able to see it when they open it um the next thing i want to do is if you have stickers you can definitely do this if not i don't have any stickers but i have my marker and i have heart stencils um and you can put decorate the front um if you'd like so I'm gonna put, make little hearts around it. And actually I'm gonna just draw them myself because I think for me it's a little easier. And I'm just going to draw a bunch of hearts. And you don't need to use your, um, your permanent marker if you don't want black. If you have your stickers or if you have a different color you wanna use, go ahead. I'm just going to use black. So I'm just making little hearts around. So as I'm doing this, I'm kind of thinking also to what I would like to say inside. I think last night I had a I had a dream like that had a good saying, but <laughs> I don't remember what that was. I've kind of done a little like little reef 
kind of thing there. And I think I'm actually going to cut, just being my creative self, I think I want to do something like, hmm, just maybe a little corner. There, so it shines through. At the end where you put your finger. And I think I'm going to put open here. <laughs> Again, you don't need to do this part. I just want to just add little different things. Here we are. Open here. Okay. So next thing is the inside. And you can continue decorating the outside. I'll probably put something here a little later, but right now I like how it looks. And so I'm going to do the inside now, just so that we can have time. So one thing you can do is that you can fold your white piece of paper in half. and cut it. If you're an extreme crafter like me, I have a cutting tool. Um, so I'm actually going to utilize this just because it makes it easier for me. So for you guys. Okay. So now I have this in half. The cool thing about this is that you could paste the half sheet into here and be done, or you can make it longer or shorter um, so that you can see some of the color, like your base color, like shine through. Um, you can, so you have like a little border. Um, you can like do blocks. So you could cut it like a piece of it and paste it in there. I mean, it's totally up to what you want to do. What I'm gonna do actually is I am going to cut it into rectangles, a couple rectangles. So here is like one of the rectangles and I'm going to snip it a little shorter. I want to paste it here. Can you see that? And maybe I'll actually make it even shorter both ways. So it's like that. So we have that, we have that. And then this is where I would probably put my message. That's where I'm thinking. Again, you don't need to have the box in that way. If you want to do it half, you can. Um, so then if I was to do it halfway, I would paste that down. And then that's how my card would look. I'm going to, oops, sorry about that. When dealing with like pacing with cards, you don't want to put too much glue. Um, you want to try to thin as much as possible or smear. Um, typically you would do it not on the card because then you don't want to get it everywhere. Um, I'm going to make sure that you get it in the middle. Because what happens is with paper, if you put too much glue onto it, 
it'll just get soggy and then it will take a long time for you to uh, dry. So I'm gonna put this on now. Took off the okay. Having technical difficulties with the glue. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if you have tape, um, some washi tape. You can also utilize your washi tape. And so I actually am going to utilize my washi tape right now. I am going to choose the purple for me. And the cool thing about washi tape is that you're able to make borders um, like seamlessly. seamlessly. Let me make a little border around maybe this. And it also acts as another like layer of um, honing it down. So you have your glue and then your tape layer. I'm trying to. So I'm going to do this on each side. And I would usually have an exacto knife just because um, sometimes it's a little easier to control than scissors, but we also want to make sure that everyone is safe. And if you are a child on the Zoom um, and you are crafting, always ask the parent to use exacto knives before actually doing it. It would be supervised. Don't want you cutting yourself. Okay, there we are. So now I have like kind of a cool little border there. How's it going everyone? Yeah. Okay. Slowly but surely, Maya. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. So even now, like with the little like open here, you can kind of see Good. some of the, the piece there. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, if I'm going too fast, let me know. If not, um, we can keep going. So I'm thinking with this, what we want to do is that I may want to, I kind of like it just being the pink there. Um, hmm. about this? I have, um, uh, no. Trips. I'm making, they're like, I can measure it and tell you. They're a little, they're almost like an inch strip, like inch um, 
like white. I'm thinking if we do something like this and have another one kind of like this, that it can be like happy Valentine's Day or maybe having it straight. Something like that. Something like that. That way when you open it, you have the happy Valentine's Day still shows through. And then you have obviously where you would put your, which you're gonna put your message. So I'm thinking I will do it that way. If you are already done with just the white part, um, I'd say decorate it um, in how you kind of want it. Um, and that way, then we can kind of like meet back up once that's done. I'm actually going to just for a sake of time. I have so I have these stencils. If you have stencils, utilize them. If not, don't utilize them. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna write on to here. But I think it'll just be quicker for me. I'm going to just say happy bow, like black letters, kind of. Again, it doesn't have to be a Valentine's Day card. It can be really whatever you wanted, a birthday card, Mother's Day card, Easter card, Father's Day. I mean, I know it's a long time before then, but you can always prepare it. Uh oh, might not fit. Oh, it's an S real. <laughs> Make it real small. I probably should have used a more skinnier marker. <laughs> there, I made it fit. Sorry, not forget the possibility. And then I need day. Yeah. Yeah. 
I always like things kind of, so I didn't paste it on here, but I usually like kind of like things that look kind of um, asymmetrical, um, especially with words. So it's not always like perfect or anything like that. So then when I have it here, it shines through. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paste them on. Also too, if you ever wanted to, you can, um, with some of the paper, you can create little backgrounds for it with, um, if I wanted to use like purple or something like that. And that can also work. Um, if you wanted to, I could round these off or I can make little um, like cutouts of them, that's also possible, but for sake of time, I'm just going to do this. Yeah. I'm actually going to do this. Let's see where. I feel like I should have like music playing in the background. <laughs> Typically in these afternoons um, with Brittany, we'd have music playing. Um, we'd have like breakfast or some kind of like brunch type of thing. Um, if you are an adult, we would have grown up drinks. Um, for the kids, would it be there? Um, which is a good time, just being amongst other women and children and enjoying ourselves. Um, again, it's not just a woman's thing, but for us, it was single moms coming together, enjoying our time together. Um, and the kids really liked to play with each other, but that was pre-COVID times. And then let's make an exclamation mark out of the, some of my scrap paper. So I'm actually gonna just make a random exclamation mark out of paper. It's actually too big. Just cut it. There we go. Hmm. Also too, you can buy like cool little tools like tweezers when you're doing really intricate like paperwork, um, just because it makes it a lot easier, especially if you're a person with nails. Take long nails. I'm being a little extra right now. Literally using the most smallest piece. <laughs> With the pieces I have cut it, I just make it a little 
the little letters I cut it. Oh, you cut the. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> Look at. Oh, I love it. Yes, <laughs> that's really nice. Little hearts with my daughter's card, paper mm -hmm. over, and just make a letters like this. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's really cool, actually. Yeah, I like doing lettering. I wanted to kind of do like, um, like, like, uh, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, uh, like little like letterings and stuff, but sake of time. <laughs> okay, so this is where we're at for me. Happy Valentine's Day so far. Um, and then I'll put my little saying in here once I'm there. Um, so if you guys are kind of completed with, I don't know where we're at with time, we have like 15 minutes left. Um, yeah, so I would say if you want to decorate the front, I would go ahead and decorate the front. Um, there's a way that you can make really pretty flowers. And it was something actually I wanted to kind of show you guys how to do um, just really quick. There's also a way that you can kind of make like hearts kind of stand out. But I really like the flower idea. Um, so if you have a ruler, if not, you can kind of eyeball it or do the whole like, you know, like square to the side like this and then um, cut it. But you'll, it'll be some folding work that you'll do. Okay, so you wanna get a square size. It doesn't matter how big you want it, but for the, um, right now, I'll just use the bigger one so you guys can kind of see. So here, you can take your, you fold it in half. I don't remember my face. Um, and then you want to fold it in half again making sure that the folded piece is facing towards you. So like this folded is facing towards me, okay? And then you wanna fold it one more time, making sure the folded piece is facing towards you. With your marker, you want to make a rounded piece here. Kind of like you're doing a heart. Again, making sure that the folded piece is towards you. And then you're going to cut. So I have that there. And it might be kind of difficult just because if you have cardstock, it might be a little hard. And then you have like your flower piece. The cool thing about this is that you can then cut inside one of them. And then you can create that flower there that you can then put like onto something. Um, so that's also an option. Um, if you kind of want to add some some like something else to it or something that pops out like I mean this is way too big for this one but <laughs> um, that is another way that you can do it another way that you can create like a flower effect is that you can do the same thing create the square and do the same thing that we just had to. Some people have like, um, like already like stencils and things that they can just, <laughs> um, or they have like cut out, um, little cut out things that you can like, just cut out these kind of stuff already. So you don't have to necessarily do this, but if you're like old school, or you're crafting on the budget. You can't buy every pretty cutout maker. Trust me, I've I've wanted to do a lot, buy a lot of them before. Um, okay. 
So now I have my flower piece. And what you can do is fold it, but then fold it like, so you have the folds that are already there that are like the um, quarter folds and then the eighth folds, but then you wanna make it even, fold it even more. That makes sense. So here I've folded each of the quarters in, uh, or the eighth pieces and then making them sixteenths. So it's a little math with it too. See where I fold my... Okay. Because I cut it really bad, but then like typically what, and it's white, so you can't really see it, but um, you would then like fold it so that the flowers kind of don't line up that makes sense. So it's like that, almost like off centered. And then you can paste it there and then you can make like a stem and make different um, size and different color ones. And it kind of like pops out then. That makes sense. So that's also an option. So I'm gonna continue decorating this. I'm, I thought about what I wanted to say. Um, I'm gonna be super cliche and do a roses are red, violets are blue. Um, roses are red, violets are blue. Mm. I hope you have a great day. I love you. There you are. <laughs> and maybe I'll do lettering. Mm. No, I'm not gonna do lettering. It's too much. Okay. But let me make sure I get this right. Maybe I should do a pencil, use a pencil. It's always a good thing, just so I don't mess up. Get my handy dandy and get my pencil. So roses are red, violets, are blue. Have a great day. And I okay. So I wrote it pretty kind of sloppy. But that's because I just wanted to see like how like placement is. It probably will not end up that way, just because. Um, yeah. So now I know I have more space. And because I like washi tape, I'm gonna use washi tape. like little lines under them. One trick to writing and using your pencil, it's best never to press hard if you're going to want to erase it. Oh. 
it's always that debate. Are violets really blue? <laughs> I have no clue. I think violets are like a bluish, purplish color. Violets are blue. Ooh. There we are. Roses are red, violets are blue. Have a great day. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm gonna probably do, let's do some decorating on the front. I don't have stickers, so let's just do some. Hmm. Let's do some pasting of some paper. Quick hearts. Typically, I like for our cards for Sweet Sorrow, we don't have sayings in them. And part of the reason is, is because we definitely want to encourage folks to write their own thing. Like I could totally come up with some cheesy saying or find something or use a poem or something. But like what I realized is that, you know, when we're giving cards to folks, if we want people to really cherish them in a way of like keeping them and um, cause I got into this like thing where it was just like, I would just like say, oh, thank you. And then like kind of keep it maybe on my my um table for like a couple weeks and then you know sometimes would toss them but if we want to be intentional about like really trying to do the you know say something from our heart like we want to encourage that so that's the reason why we don't have anything inside and I'm, I'm like terrible at coming up with things but if you can't come up with something I say always look in books and um, you can find some really good poems. Um, also too, like it's just more like heartfelt, it's from your heart because you took time and effort into finding something that you wanna say. Um, a lot of my quotes also come from like dramas that I may watch like on TV. And it's like, someone said something super sweet. And I was just like, oh, that, that, that pulled my heartstring. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna like, and I have like in my phone, like a little note space where I put like little notes of like what that, that quote was. And then sometimes I may use that. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to have something that, you know, is more tailored to yourself. And there's absolutely a, like nothing wrong with if you're just, you know, I just want to send a card with something already in there, but definitely the reason why we don't put anything in there. We want to encourage folks to um, kind of do their thing. Okay, everyone. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you coming to this crafter noon and making Valentine Day cards. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Thank you.